My name is uh, Dr. Vinod Tampi. I hail from India. I have done my medical graduation as a MBBS doctor. Subsequently, did my post graduation in MD internal medicine, and then went for my super specialty training in neurology. And uh, then I completed my masters in hospital administration and uh, did a PhD as well. So currently, I work as the Chief Executive Officer of Ahalya Medical Group and simultaneously am a full-time consultant in Neurology and the Director of Medical Sciences in Neurosciences in my group. So Thank that's you. being a CEO at the same time you uh, still do consultation? Yeah, every day it happens, <laughs> even today. Uh, aren't you supposed to be just like sitting in your office and just um, and probably sign papers? You still do the doctor stuff? Yeah, yeah. That has been a passion in my life. Yeah. Speaking of passion, was it always your passion to uh, be a doctor or was it like a family advice? I come from a family of engineers. My grandfathers, both of them, my dad, my brother, all were engineers and they excelled in their professions. At the same time, I took inspiration from maybe the community to understand that medicine was my method. At the same time, Right from the age of 17, when I joined the medical school, I wanted to become a neurologist and not just a doctor. So I was very clear about choosing my speciality even before I attained majority at the age of 18 years. I took uh, the medical profession very seriously and I was the gold medalist in MBBS from my medical college. So I was uh, obviously, I could say the best student of my batch of 200. And then I was the first rank holder for MD internal medicine as well as in neurology. So I cannot say there were no downs, but I would like to identify myself with the ups. Yeah. Then of course, when you start to practice neurology, I came to understand that beyond the textbooks and beyond the syllabus, there are many, many things that to be learned because East and West, there is low, so many research activities happening, so many updates so many textbooks, journals, then online education systems. So then I understood that if I had to continue my up and go up in career, as I dreamt, I had to really read, write, study, attend conferences, and not just for uh, uh, tourism purpose, I had to do it at least three to four hours a day, despite being a heavy practitioner. I have worked in many medical colleges as a teacher in neurology. Then I had the opportunity to work for Apollo Hospitals in Dhaka, Bangladesh. Then I had the opportunity to work in United States of America, train myself in various institutes of repute in USA. Then I have worked in Sultanate of Oman and Saudi Arabia. And now I am in UAE happily for the 10th year. Yes. And at this moment, I would be very happy to share that I was one of the earliest doctors in Abu Dhabi to have been honored with the golden visa by the governments of UAE. Oh. Yeah, for the benefit of patients as well as my personal benefits, I would honestly say that the best part of my career as a medical administrator at a CEO level, which I have been holding for the last 14 years, and as a practitioner with the head of neurology situation that I have, again for the last more than a decade, the insurance coverage for the patients is the one that is most attractive for the medical fraternity here. Because back in our home countries, Every patient is spending for their diagnosis, the radiological laboratory investigations, the doctor consultations, cross-references and the pharmacy from their own pocket. Even in Bangladesh, it was the same. Of course, in America, it was a different system. However, when we cater to a large number of expatriate population, which comes from nearly 150 countries in the United Arab Emirates, and where I work for 10 years continuously, and consecutive 10 years I've completed in the Emirate of Abu Dhabi, I am very happy that the benevolent governance of this country, as well as the leadership, they have a real humanitarian philanthropic role in giving the insurance provider to the patient, even by law or otherwise. I feel it is a very kind gesture that is happening continuously. One cannot select our parents. We cannot select our children. But regarding my spouse, I married a doctor who was three years junior to me. And she also finished her MD and her super specialty DM in nephrology. And she is the medical director and the transplant 
director and the head of the department of nephrology in a 350 bedded medi city hospital back in kerala state of india so here i am living as an enforced bachelor okay. and coming to my children yes. my daughter has finished uh, her uh, bachelor's in computer science engineering uh, and currently she is doing her management masters in london business school okay. so uh, she does it uh, she does it all day. she is yeah, averse to on. medicine either as a practitioner or as a patient okay. and i have a son who is studying in his 12th class okay. possibly if he is interested let him go into medicine there is no force honestly i work on fridays also and i don't take a weekly off but at the end of a month or two i accumulate my holidays and travel is my passion from americas to australia i have traveled on very multiple occasions and i have visited nearly 40 countries so far half may be tourism and half may be related to medical conferences where i am invited either as a delegate a speaker or as a chairperson for various in the neurological seminars oh well uh, it is not a personal achievement that i would like to stress in this interview because i am no it is going to reach a large number of your audience i wish the screening of diseases and oncological as well as genetic diseases also be taken seriously by the employers the employees the hr of organizations the insurance companies the third party administrators and finally the department and ministry of health in this country so much so that if these things also are included among the insurance coverages we will be able to serve a much bigger population with the same expertise and infrastructure well success i feel uh, comes every day it depends on whether you want to evaluate your success on a daily basis or a weekly basis on certain figures on a monthly basis the parameters may change on a quarterly basis the organization where you work will also have to contribute to one success and on the yearly basis it may be the financial derivatives so i want to be a successful man on a daily basis weekly basis monthly basis quarterly basis and on a an annual basis so some elements of this success would be personal some elements of success will be confined to the department of neurosciences some elements of success will be hospital based and finally i want the whole group the all service providers in the government and private sector in uae and the world to be successful and i feel that one would be really successful if there is no disease and death in the community which may be a little uh, unreasonable uh, expectation